What's good and what up? It's your brother Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Do me a favor, fan, before we get started with the content, y'all know what to do. Go up top and hit that like button. All right, so I don't know if y'all heard this story yet, but man, oh man, 50 Cent was a target by a NYPD commander. That man wanted 50 Cent's life. Here is the story by way of the New York Daily News. Written by Thomas Tracy. Here it is. He wanted his cops to get the strap and take out 50 Cent. A Brooklyn precinct commander is being investigated by the NYPD for allegedly threatening 50 Cent's life, telling his officers to a roll call to shoot him on sight. The Daily News has learned. Now, Deputy Inspector Emmanuel Gonzalez, like you see up top, the commanding officer of the 72nd Precinct in Sunset Park, allegedly made the threat last June 7th when the actor and in the club rapper was expected to attend the NYPD sanctioned boxing match in the Bronx. Now, during a roll call inside the 72nd Precinct Station House, Gonzalez told his officers if they saw 50 Cent at the boxing match known as a smoker, they should shoot him on sight. And the source with knowledge of the case said, the inspector just said that at a roll call, the source said, I'm like, what the fuck? No one recorded the incident, and Gonzalez tried to pass off the bizarre order as a joke, but the matter made its way to police headquarters with launch, which launch, excuse me, a probe. Now, the incident is under internal review. That comes by way of a department spokesman. A source also said that the Internal Affairs Bureau Group 1, which handles police corruption cases for captains and above, is investigating. Gonzalez, who will be celebrating his 30th anniversary with the department later this year, remains on active duty, officials say, adding weight to the IAB investigation. It is that alleged threat came at the time Gonzalez had ongoing beef with the rapper, whose given name, as we all know, is Curtis Jackson. Now, a month before the roll call, Gonzalez filed an aggravated harassment complaint claiming 50 Cent threatened him on Instagram. 50 Cent was commenting on a lawsuit first reported in the Daily News accusing Gonzalez of shaking down the owner of the Sunset Park Love and Lust, one of 50 Cent's favorite clubs. When he wrote, get the strap, a slang term for get a gun, in the complaint he filed the department, Gonzalez said several of 50 Cent's 18 million followers responded with their own threats against the precinct leader, including fuck this commander and blast this fool, leaving him in fear of his safety. The rapper ultimately took down the Instagram post. The department investigated Gonzalez's complaint, but no charges were filed. A rep for 50 Cent said the Grammy Award winner had just learned about Gonzalez's shoot on site comment. Mr. Jackson takes this threat very seriously and is consulting with his legal team counsel regarding his options going forward, the rep said. He is concerned that he is not previously has not been previously advised of the threat by the NYPD, and even more concerned that Gonzalez continues to carry a badge and a gun. Now, Gonzalez is being sued by the Love and Lust owner, Imran Star, Jareem, excuse me if I'm saying that wrong, for demanding 11 free round trip tickets to Puerto Rico and a generator for a doctor after Hurricane Maria devastated the island. When Jareem denied Gonzalez's request, the precinct hammered the club with violations. As a result, Love and Lust lost its liquor license and shut down the owner claimed in court papers. When reached Saturday, Jareem said Gonzalez should be stripped of his badge. This shows his personality, Jareem said. This is a guy who should be protesting us, protecting us, he continued. If proven true, Gonzalez's alleged order had the complete opposite effect sources, knowledge, sources with knowledge of the case say. Now, instead of harming 50 Cent, spectators cheered him on yelling, get the strap, as he sat next to Jareem's attorney, Eric Sanders, at the New York Expo Center in the Bronx. He was even asked to come up and comment on the matches. I always knew that a flea has more integrity than Gonzalez, Sanders said, when asked about the investigation into the alleged threat. Now we can add unhinged to this clown's horrible reputation. When is his PC going to finally clip his wings, Sanders asked. Now attempts to reach Gonzalez were unsuccessful. Roy Richard, the president of the Captain's Benevolent Association, did not return a request to comment. Man, oh man. Now I know that 50 Cent really pisses people off on Instagram. Tierra Marie being the latest victim, he's just destroying her. But man, 
cops taking out hits on his life, like, in joking, they could sit there and act like that was funny, that was in briefing, but now that has to be taken way more serious because that was real. And that's wild. I can't believe that. Shout out to the people. Shout out to my man that wrote the column on there. Let me get the in um let me get the name real quick as I go up. Thomas Tracy, a real in-depth, complete story, courtesy of the Daily News. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section right now. Let me know what you think of this situation. 50 Cent being targeted by the NYPD. This shit is wild. Y'all let me know. Also in the description box, your links to our Twitter, IG, which you see up top. And all the links that myself, Sam Ant, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News Runs, Push Up with Sam Ant, Sam Ant Uncut. And of course, I'm the co-host of the most underrated, most dangerous podcast on YouTube to date, the Uncensored Truth Podcast from my brother, Oh God, over at Hip Hop News Uncensored. Always trying to keep it raw, real, and a cut here at Viral Hip Hop News. Until next time, until next story, I sincerely appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I'm out of here, mate. Peace.